There is a plant here that you've probably never heard of unless you watch Right on the Money. It's the wholesome plant in Midlothian where they produce cement, which they describe as the flour that is mixed with other ingredients to produce concrete, which would be the cake. Now, we've been making that concrete cake the same way for a very long time. We've been doing the old poured and cement recipe for, for 100 plus years, and now we're looking to rapidly change the way we, we construct, change the way we build. Now, if you didn't know, cement produces a lot of the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide. Making enough cement for one pound produces almost a pound of CO2. That happens because of a reaction when the components of cement are superheated. We don't hide from it. I mean, uh, cement manufacturing is, is a large contributor to CO2. Uh, but we're also a huge opportunity to be a, a part of the solution. Patrick Cleary works at Wholesome and brags that his company is the largest cement producer in the U.S. They also brag that... We're the first ones to announce uh, a net zero pledge. So, you know, net zero by 2050. To become carbon neutral, they are moving to a new kind of cement, which has a lot of finely ground limestone in it. And Cleary says it produces about 10% less carbon dioxide. They are transitioning their 14 U.S. plants to this product, and they started with Midlothian. It's the first plant in the country to do this, this transition. So a 10% reduction is really pretty modest, but then multiply that by the 2 million tons of cement that Wholesome produces just in Midlothian, and it does start to add up. And the company says it's already working on the next mixture that will give a 30% CO2 reduction. So the first of many steps to cleaner concrete are happening right here. You won't even be able to see it. You won't be able to see it. In fact, we've got nearly a million tons of this cement in concrete today in and around the Dallas-Fort Worth market. Oh, wow. So it's already been poured. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, any places that we would recognize? Uh, the PGA headquarters in Frisco. The I-35 paving projects have been have, 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 have it on it. On the subject of paving projects, months ago, I told you how some builders here couldn't even get enough cement to pour a complete home foundation all because of the February winter storm that damaged the wholesome plant here. Well, it is now back up and running at 100%, and that cement with a tenth less CO2 is pouring. Follow me at Jason Wheeler TV on Facebook and Twitter to stay right on the money.